Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. No, that sounds reasonable. So you you give me uh, what twenty million if I um, if I watch your video now. Sure. Sure. Okay. Sure. Sorry, I'm gonna have to decline. Uh, Spectre just uploaded a brand new FNAF VHS video. If you guys don't know who this dude is, then my goodness, prepare to be absolutely amazed. So what is going on, guys? This is Ryan here, and welcome to FNAF VHS. FNAF VHS. Why was there like three of me behind me as well? That doesn't make any sense. We are back for another VHS reaction video. We have seen several of Spectre's videos in the past. This dude has made the incredible classics we've seen, such as Paranormal Investigation and also the Maintenance Report. There is no doubt in my mind mind that this guy is one of the most talented creators in the space, so I cannot wait to check out his newest video, which is called Police Archive. A tape of the Northview Mall incident recorded by NPCD officer Mitchell Clyde. After its declassification, the public can finally see for themselves what transpired that night. Recorded the 4th of the 12th, 87, and we can see all of the credits here, which I'm going to leave on screen for you guys to look through. All these people I already know have had an incredible role in this amazing VHS that we're going to get to see. I feel like I've said enough, guys. We're about to get into this thing, and this is a half an hour-long FNAF VHS tape, and this is gonna be such a treat. Get your snacks, get your drinks, okay? Look, I'm, I'm just rocking some, like, flavored water today. I don't know why I'm being so lame. And if you guys wanna see more videos just like this one, I think you know exactly what to do. Let's go. Why, why does every time a video starts, for some reason the tape play, it translates as foreign, bro. Like, what, what is it talking about, okay? Very excited for this. Hey, the world. Hello, gentlemen. I'm Special Agent Edwards of the FBI. This is my partner, Agent Wallace. Glad to meet you too. I'm Detective William Bradley. I'm in charge of this investigation, and this is the Police Sergeant David Miller. So we get introduced to everyone. All right. All right. No, so, no faces. Uh, this is just audio recording, the right? In this case. Everything you guys know and everything you guys are suspicious of. Tell us. If I'm not mistaken, this is a case of a serial murder. Is that correct? <laughs> yes, sir. As well as theft and bribery, among others. Now, right. this relates back to a string of disappearances that started popping Yo. up about a year ago, all relating back to a kid's entertainment company called Fast Bear Entertainment. It feels this so first real. involved a man named Sean Roberts, whose family told us was a paranormal investigator. On the night of August 19th, 1985, Robot. around 2 o'clock, he was hired to look into the company's supernatural occurrences. Yes. However, his family reported that same morning that he hadn't come home and has been missing nah. ever since. Bro, they build these worlds so good. If you guys never saw the paranormal investigation thing, I will link my original reaction to that one down below. I was shocked at how good that was. Like, the tension and the adrenaline that that video caused as I was watching it was insane. You have to see it. I would really get up to scratch with the lore of this guy's universe. Now, originally we suspected that he had been kidnapped, but uh, witnesses who live close to the restaurant strip mall lead us to believe a different story. Strip mall, They're right. hearing a lot of gunshots. Some recognize it as a shotgun blast. That came from the parking lot during the night. What? When we arrived on scene after a disturbance call about it that evening, we found shattered glass from a broken window oh, pane man. that landed on the outside of the building. This one breaking out. We did out. manage to find a small blood sample on the ground as well as oh. fingerprints off the victim's equipment, confirming that this was him and he had indeed been murdered. Gosh. However, we found nothing giving us any idea of who the actual killer was. Mm. So we asked the company if they might have caught the event on camera. Their response was His that Mr. Was Roberts stolen. had requested that the building's power be shut off and that the building's entrance doors be unlocked for him to enter. Right. So, with the prospect of literally anybody being able to enter the building at any time, nobody could exactly prove that the company itself was involved. So Dang. We eventually just passed this case know. off as some crack job who stumbled on the unlocked door Yo. and figured he'd try to score himself a payday by robbing the place. So nope. Mr. Roberts approaching the building and then shot him through the window to ensure no witnesses. Dang. Afterwards, he spent the rest of the time before we got there doing the best to clean up after himself. Bro, they, they just completely, like... How can the cops be so wrong? Do you not investigate anything? I guess first we have the luxury of up. seeing the camera. About a few months after that, on March 15th, 1986, the family of a mechanic for Afton Robotics no way. Sister company filed a report about the missing son, Matthew Walker. Again, we arrived at the restaurant and found no tangible evidence of a crime that was committed, so the How? second time we asked if the company had any idea about this event or, again, had maybe caught it on camera. And then they said nope. no, and when they looked back at the camera footage, it cuts off about the time oh, that it could have happened. So nah, they dude. Maybe that their building power had randomly shut off. So again, nobody Man, can to prove if they were responsible for his disappearances, but I think we both know lightning doesn't strike in the same place twice. Glad you guys are thinking so, correctly. Huh? It's not always coincidence. Finally, the smoking gun case that told us something fishy was going on was uh, the disappearance of Jacob Carter, who was a new hire for the company hmm. and reported missing after he didn't come back for his first night shift. Did we miss that video? 29th, Yo, show us that video in due time, if not. We found anywhere, but this time when we asked the company for the footage, 
They agreed, but discovered Ooh. it had, quote, mysteriously gone missing as soon as they went to look for it. Just casually, the footage goes. The one the one tape you need is gone, right? That's Fazbear Entertainment style. So y'all start to sense a pattern here. Three yeah. missing people are gone without a trace, and a suspiciously uncooperative company are seemingly covering up these incidents. Mm -mm. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. Oh, glad you guys you have got this bear going. Bear in mind that all of this is on top of four extra missing kids cases <sighs> relating to the company as well. I uh, unfortunately don't have the documents on hand with me right now since they were just requested by our CSIs a few minutes before this. But, huh. but I do still have everything that happened afterwards, which is pretty much just shows that all these cases resulted in successful lawsuits by their respective families. Right, that's how it should be. Millions in reparations Ooh. and bring them closer yeah, right. to bankruptcy. I mean, I yeah, see. they, they kind of deserve that, guys. What about like, this guy you caught last night? How does he fit into all this? I don't know, bro. <clears throat> well, as of now, oh, he's confessed to being the one responsible for everything we just mentioned. Huh? We're to use everything we could find on him in our archives. So bro, he's literally a Roblox square. Four kids: Gabriel Martin, Jeremy, and Susie Collins, and finally Fritz Robertson, as well as the additional three cases we just talked about, wow. claiming that they were too close to discovering the truth. So, what you just is? confessed instead? Well, that's the other thing. He's been real picky about which questions he answers. Ah. We asked where the bodies were. He said nothing. We it's asked how long he's been doing right? this. He said nothing. Bro, it's like, even though we know how messed up this dude is, he knew handing himself in, even though he gets the jail time, that still allows him to pull the strings from the top because the police would be digging more and more trying to figure out things on their own. But then he can almost, behind bars, direct them on what they can and can't find. A clear sadistic person through and through. And no doubt, this is the type of person they would think about things like this to do. And he's even avoided questions just relating to his side of the story. Not sure why he wants to still keep secrets from us now, even after letting the cat out of the bag. So he can run a different also, narrative on you guys, bro. Don't seem very genuine. Don't seem genuine. Are you sure he's not trying to throw you guys off? Agent Edwards, I've served with this police department sergeant for 25 years. I know when people are lying to my face. Well, if there's mm. a confession, then this sounds like an open and shut case to me. So what are you guys trying to say right now? Could it be well, someone else? I think the situation is a bit too good to be true. It. A guy gets away with seven murders and now all of a sudden decides to stop hiding his tracks. It doesn't make sense. I'll say. That doesn't make sense, Another right? pretty much cuffed himself. Didn't try nah. to fight, resist, escape. Bro, no. it's but probably... So Maybe he felt guilty and turned himself in. <laughs> ah, good joke. This guy's funny. I, I'm starting to believe instantly this, this guy probably made someone else frame. Uh, like the situation like he then gets the blame for it Maybe the killer's still out there. So is this guy working with him or has he maybe bribed this person? Like if you hand yourself in your entire family will live I feel like that's what might be going down here Or it might actually just be that they actually got the killer and I'm just thinking way too deep But I can pull a fast one on us last night. We got him All I'm saying is that there could be more to this case than was immediately apparent hmm. Could be parts of this that we don't know or aren't seeing quite yet. Yeah. Well, unfortunately the court doesn't care about could be's Mm. We're only concerned about what we can prove. Now, is there anything else you haven't shown us yet that proves these claims more broadly? There Go is up, one sir. thing, and it's another major reason we brought you guys in. One of our officers managed to record the whole ordeal that happened last night. However, there are definitely parts of this tape that we cannot show to the public. Okay. At least not yet. We ain't right, the public, Dad? though. Huh? All right, Dad. You got. Did he actually say, all right, Dad? Here we go, we see. This is the mall instant, I assume. This might be a different version or a different tape. Is that camera rolling? Let's see. Here we go. Oh, I love yep. this dude, the way recording. he builds these All worlds, right. man. Good. Should be coming up on him fairly soon. Which this way they head? Dark night, man. Should be the same direction we're going, just not exactly sure how far up they are. Got you, got you. Keep an eye on both sides, though. So they're driving somewhere. They're, oh, oh, oh hey. is that them? Might be. It looks like it fits the bill. Uh, well, that was easy, right? What's Why in the, the hell back? are they driving so slow? Right. Mm, I don't know. Is that probably trying to decide what though? to do? Let's go ahead and photo it now before they try something. Yeah. Three me. Echo 10 to dispatch over. Smart, okay. What's in the back? Three man? Echo 10, go ahead. Yeah, we got a possible jackpot in that Bolo 4982 white GMC box truck. Currently Logging it in, bro. Logging it in. Ooh. Roger, ready for the is it slowing? That LP is going to be Juliet Golf Kilo 245. Yo, they're getting That's closer Juliet to it. Golf Look, Kilo it's... 245. Yo, why is it stopping? And it's a Wisconsin plate over. What the freak is going on, man? Three, 
Vehicles reported stolen from a rental service a few mm. days ago and is now involved with an ongoing investigation. Uh -oh. Multiple units reported seeing a brand logo on the side of the vehicle, though. So the vehicle okay. may be bought by the company, and this report may be a mistake. And they tried to much hide it. to figure out if they actually own the vehicle or not. Let's do it then. Thanks Bro, for you're going to have to break this dude over to the side. All right. Stop him out. Let's pull him over. Good. Yeah, this is what you should be doing. Hey, guys, you see that? Hello? Yes, we have the police right behind. Okay, yo, straight off road. Brake lights on. Okay, everything checks out so far. Almost a little too convenient, okay. right? I'm going to walk over to the driver's side and tell him what's going on see if we can get this squared away. It's the time to be ready to back me up, all right? Yes, sir. All right. All right. Hope it goes well. I hope it goes well, but who knows? He's out of the car. I love the sound design for this. Very immersive. Oh, what? You actually see him walking up? Okay, that animation is fire. Wow, they did a great job with this. How are you guys doing this evening? So you can hear them. There's two. There's right, my name is Officer Dale. May I see the keys to the truck, please? Hey, I don't know if they're Just want to make sure you don't take off and run on me now. Let's see. Do those lights go off? We want those lights off, man. Thank Ooh. you very much. Cooperating. Right, do you know why I stopped you just now? I mean, mate, they stopped for a reason. Well, there's a bolo, or be on the lookout for this particular model of vehicle. Right. Now, I ran right. your plate just now, and my dispatcher told me that this vehicle was reported stolen by a rental service. You're in deep, guys. It's out. Cats uh -huh. out of the bag. They're trying to clear the case, or are they just like, yeah. you got us, take us, you know? How is it with these guys? What well, about this I mean, was part of the plan? This looks to be y'all's vehicle, so, uh, I'm. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to assume anything, right? He, you know how companies like to make shit up all the time so you can rip mm. people off, you know? Cops got, I guess, some mm. validity, and he's kind of like showing he's on their side also right, well, at the moment. Let's see if we can get this figured out. Doesn't want to get too blamey and stuff at the moment. Perfect. I assume this is a commercial vehicle. Why is this just, why are they shot okay, though? Okay, so you got your license for that. Nothing. And they're being cooperative right, let me go ahead and the stuff and see if we can get this issue squared away, all right? No, no hesitation right, with, uh... Being one with this dude. Okay, here he comes back. Look at that walk cycle. He knows he's done good, man. He's feeling good about himself, taking control of the situation. The people uh, are you listening. You might feel the same for me. I'm going to take care of the registration out here so I can keep an eye on them. Yeah, right. sure thing. They show us the whole thing. There is no cuts in any of this Three stuff. Echo 10 to dispatch. Pulls it in. Three Echo 10, what you got? Break it down. Got a commercial license. I need you to check out for me. Here we go. Ready for the details. License don't like number job. is going to be 126 266 79. That's one two six two six six seven nine. First it's name Oscar, last right? name Master. M A S T E R. Mr. Master. He's a thirty-four year old white male with short brownish black hair. Over. But when he was a young child, he was called Master Master. I'm just saying, like. Uh, I'm not coming up with anything. Can I get a ten nine on the number? Is it a fake ID? One two six two six six seven nine. They hooked him up with a fake ID. Nine. They're trying to hide their identity. There is no such person as that. I got no one listed under that name. Did it expire? Subtitles Negative misunderstanding. Dispatch. License says it'll expire in 92. It's fake, bro. It's fake. Roger. It might be a false ID. Description sounds familiar, so they might be the guys the other unit saw. Hmm. Well, they seem to be acting pretty calm pulling something like this, but... Uh, I'll tell my partner right? we'll bring them in. Thanks for the help. So they are, they're being brought in back to HQ, of course. Oh, you just hey, get Darryl. cut off, though. <laughs> yeah, what's up? This Bro's is a fake ID. Tip. Shit, really? Dang, Just read the details me, to dispatch twice, and they came up with nothing both times. Mm. Well, is it expired? They, I mean, no, they're not, they're not look, trying to run it says off. it expires in 92. Yet, at least. Damn. Okay, then. That was an easy stop off, right? Are they going to pull them right, in I'm as well? i get the driver out in a cuff. That's... Go ahead and walk around back and make sure his friend doesn't take off running. Smart. Okay, will do. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. You know, this dude probably, like, he interviewed a, a police officer. Like, okay, so if I'm going to animate this, how do I make it look realistic? He just gave all the tricks of the trade away. Hey, Deep down, that dude's just trying to figure out his escape before. route. Hey, where the hell is your friend? What? Oh my! Oh! Daryl? A routine traffic stop. You. Three Echo 10. Officer down. down. Shots, Shots fired. fired. What the fuck? Show, Show me your hands. hands. Now! Drop it in your hands and step out of the truck. Bro, this is awesome. You, you deaf motherfucker. What? I said. Oh! oh. Bro, what the freak? What? Look at this dude in his what morph suit. What's he doing? Just stick to the plan. Come on. There was multiple shots fired. Did no one else die in that? So they take off with the withered animatronics. 
Foxy's just... Yo, he's, he's just doing what he's programmed to do. He's out. Bro was like, oh crap, I killed someone. I better run too, right? I'm also included in that plan. They just leave Bonnie and Chica back there? Wait! <gasps> Yo, I would, I would be playing dead right now. Get in your vehicle, lock your door, and call it into dispatch. Vehicle send to dispatch. How did he not die? <laughs> I am shocked he didn't die. Dispatch, can you read me? Did he, oh, he cut, they cut off the thing, right? Can you anyone hear me right now? Check on your dead friend's freaking like, radio or something? Is that what they oh, were trying to destroy? Great. <sighs> yep, just a dead friend and uh, nearly your face got completely shredded off. They nearly did front or low, bio of 87, 2.0. He's Darryl, out. Me, buddy? Nah, he's, bro, look at the blood stain behind his head. He's sleeping. <laughs> You do compression, she's just gonna <laughs> squirt blood in your face. I'll make him fucking pay for this! So he's definitely down. This is 3 Echo 10. I got an officer down on 999 North. Please tell me that. Immediate medical I assistance. Hear Over. That. The... Does anyone read me? What? How? Nah, radio's busted too. So it wasn't about killing them, it was about taking out the radios. That was their main concern at the moment, it seems like. Weird how they had prioritized that. God damn it, Daryl! The one time we need a spare. Ugh. And he's got to drive off and leave his friend right. there, think, right? Think. Um, I'm not that far from the city, so someone must have heard all of this. What would you do? Is this is actually a really, really bad situation. Where the hell situation. they go? They took off. Why man. didn't they just take off in the truck? Well, they're up to something. They have to. Was the plan to also leave these guys here to escape at a separate time? Is this time? thing still rolling? Yeah, that captured all of it. Oh sh! It is. Okay. Yo, what the freak? Okay, so we see maybe how Foxy got brought away at some point. It seems like, uh... Let's see if I can find down. out where they went. Good All luck right. with that, bud. It looks like they went off the right in this direction. He's searching, though. So let's see if I can catch up to them. Oh, would you do that, alone? I don't care what that thing is. No one's getting away from me that easily. Bro just read his last words for life. Good night, buddy. Not after what they did tonight. You can give the speech, but I don't- I don't know, man. Words are only gonna do so much, you know what I'm trying to say? That's an animatronic, and that thing, it's obviously built to withstand, like, being thrown off of a, a van like that. It just stood back up and Damn. was good to go. What is this Boston place? Dynamics in this universe, bro. D don't wake up if you're in this universe and Boston Dynamics starts making videos, you know? They're at least pretty run down. Well, I, I don't know what he's seeing, though. I just see- It's gotta be a mall or something. He must be seen off in the distance. What the hell are they doing in a place like this? Buddy just wants to be Casey Nice, I think. This must be where they broke in. Or overgrown. at least where someone broke in. They're all overgrown. Yeah, they just they had to come up through. Sound design is just like Perfect. So good. So good. Every part of this just sounds so Jesus. good, bro. This place definitely looks bigger on the inside. Yeah, look at it. I mean, when it looks I, fairly intact, but my god, did they let this place go. When there's no, like, uh, I guess, stalls, stands, people inside of it, all you just see is the empty liminal space of a mall. And that's when things look extremely creepy. So they must have came through here. The, the people involved, but this is all captured on camera. Being shown at the, uh, the police HQ for investigation. These are the purposes. old businesses they closed down. Yeah, everything went under. Look at that. It's still Architecture weird place, looks super though. retro, though. Like 80s, this place 70s. had to be built in like the late 60s, early 70s at least. Yeah, this place is like, this is where you go and you, you see these in the old school movies, man. No time do you really see stuff like this nowadays. I wonder if there's still... Uh, uh, no what, way! What's that? Bro, why are you getting distracted, though? How is there still power in this place? How is this man laughing after seeing his friend get taken out four minutes well, ago? Well, there is still power, hopefully the phones here still work. I gotta make sure backup knows I'm here, otherwise they'd be looking everywhere to try and find where the action talk, is. Talk a bit louder so everyone can hear that you're in here, you know? You know don't whisper under your breath. Don't do that, definitely I think that's not. a map right there. So, let's see you, if I can find the office someone buildings. to get it for you, huh? Why don't you go ahead and do that? Okay, let's see. Office, 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 office... Dude is too much of a talker. Uh, right, ah, these should here. be thoughts okay. in the brain. Second floor no. on the east side. Alright. Let's see if those phones still work. So hopefully I can redirect the cavalry over here to help me catch these guys. Yeah, say that really loud so they can make a plan about how you can't do that now. That's, this is really good. Top tier, S tier rank officer. Saying the plans so that the, the suspects can make a plan to avoid that plan. Wait. Wait, that was a noise from the upper floor, right? How long until the rest show up? 
From where we are, it'll take him at least five to ten minutes, but they don't even know we're here, so we've got time. Shh, now he's quiet when it matters. To check here first. Will you quit your f***ing bitching and hand me the pliers? That must be Afton, right? Uh, Are they working on him? They're scrappers. They're scrappers, he said? I wonder what they need all that for, though. So they're stealing stuff? Ah. So they've got lights working in this place. Maybe, maybe stay in the shadows, but that's it, that's it. Now you're thinking like an intelligent person. Okay, I got it. Open the bag. Something stored away in there. Hit that. I heard that. Who's there? I would get my gun out and start popping shots. Maybe this is why I would get taken out in that situation. It's like the cat, you know. When hey, you... who's that? Okay. MCPD, hands up now! Do they How shoot? The fuck? They got the Tommy gun. What? He's so calm for a gunfight. I'm surprised. Oh, returning fire. Anyone hit? Maybe he's shooting around them? I don't know if that's like a new tactic in this universe too? It's just him. Come on, let's go. Now, hurry up. These dudes say say their plans loud too. This is a universe where no one thinks quietly, I guess, or, or communicates under their breath. At least he's still alive. Guy's got, guy's got that calm. I don't know how he's doing it, man. You guys think this is a fucking game? Come out with your hands up, now! What is, bro, there's something. Oh, they left what Foxy! The hell? Oh, he's gonna run at him! Oh, uh, holy shit. That's it! Oh my god, no way! He's done! He is done! Hey, he's got the sprint on him! Mason Foxy can run! That was his trait! This dude did track though, that's it, sir, that's it, sir! Sound design, that's that ain't it, but that ain't it. Oh, you don't have to open the punch door. Ha! Yes. We outsmired you, dummy. What you can do is run. Let's go. He's alive. Yes, let's get it. Oh, my. No way! A full chasing in the back end of the mall. We gotta move, but the freak, what is this? Like a catering area? Did he not see him? I need your light off, sir. Turn your light off. Oh, that's messed up, man. Why does it breathe? Why? Why would it breathe? If it was just a word, but it wouldn't do that. That is horrific. Genuinely. Tear up. That's that did it. That did it right there. That was that was horror. That was horror and fear. <sighs> Don't sneeze to fucking be quiet. Jesus Christ. I think you got enough vlog footage. God, Just get out now. How is he? Yo, if that seriously I came to me, here now. I would have had a heart attack. I'd be dead anyway. I think you've got enough footage to go back to dispatch and show this. I really do. You got voices. Heights. The fact that they're malicious, they have robots, like, now you know what to return back with if you need to. Come on. Maybe he's looking for a phone. This looks more like an office area. This way you'd have the staff members maybe back here, running things behind them all, making sure everything's still flowing. Hmm. So, well, we got something. Yes. Got a little something, something. God damn it. It's of locked. course. He's going to smash that thing down, you already know. Desperation calls for desperate things, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. I think I know what he's doing. So we can get the, the handle on the other side, right? I, the sound is on again, guys. It's, it's so S tier. S tier. Yes, still works. All right. Darling, send in the cavalry. quietly, man. Send in the cavalry. He says, uh, no one else is here than Foxy, though. Tell him to come prepared if you're going to call come him on, in. Come on, pick up. I'm, I'm like, I'm sitting here like, come on. Yeah, this is Officer Mitchell Clyde, MCPD. We got shots fired at Northview Mall, east of I-99 North. I got two armed and dangerous suspects with yep. machine pistols, both in all black and ski masks. Physical description unknown. My partner's down and unresponsive. I need backup and immediate medical assistance.
He laid down the facts, but he missed out the robot. This sound like a f***ing prank call to you, lady? Both me and my partner's radios are busted. What do you want me to do? Thank God this phone still works, otherwise I'd have no way to reach you guys. Right? I mean, it would sound like a prank. Ah, oh, shit. Hey, yo, yo, duck down. Just give me some backup, damn it. Yeah, now he talks quite good. What would you do in this situation? They're gonna come down here and see one single smashed window. Are they gonna know? They're checking. They're gonna pick up the phone and Chris! say, like, it's a prank? What? What? He's still alive! He got to one of the phones! Ah, Alright, we've only got three more spots after this. We better hit those quick. What? Three more spots? Where's What's your robot? About? I don't know. Try to call it back. They got you know, burned. I'm almost tempted to leave that useless piece of shit here. Oh, that's, hey, come on, fuck We can't let the man. cops find it. It's gotta come with us. <sighs> Don't make me regret this. Right, he's on board. Come what on, we're on the clock. What is that sound? Is that him calling the robot back? The, like, the weird sound? Yo, I, I, I've been sitting like this the whole time. I'm so tense from this. This is great. Everything feels so real. Like, given the situation, obviously you can't, you know, kill a robot and such. Like, not yet, at least. Goodness, please make that never be a reality. Thank you. Appreciate that. Look, I'm picking locks. What are they trying to do? Three more hits, they said. Three more places on things they gotta check out. Yo, listen, YouTube, I'm just saying no one's applauding what you're talking about. Jesus! Thumped his knee! They called Fuck. it back, they called it back. Yo. It's like Wallace and Gromit the wrong trousers, you guys seen that thing, bro? <laughs> oh my gosh. Let it go. There he is! Oh sh**. It's me or the fox? Now nah, he was talking about the fox, bro. He... Ah! Oh, he's been hit. How you like that, you coward? What the freak? see you, bro. Oh my... Yo, he's done. He's limping now. Bullets bounce off of it, man. Ricocheting. He's dead. Why with the sound, though? Why? Like, they didn't need them. Yo, I thought he got away. Oh, oh, he's still good. Why is he calling? Dead. Okay. But why did it scream like that? But why did it scream like that? Guys, we're talking about we need to take it because of evidence on the inside. We know what's on the inside, guys. We already know. Didn't think that would actually work. I'm glad it did. When it went in doubt with bullets. Yes! The cavalry has arrived! Yay! They took it serious! Time. I would be hiding if I was this guy, not standing in spot. You know, these guys do have Tommy guns. So, do they... Or, you know, they, he's left the fox for enough time to get away, I think, in between. There's a high chance that's gonna happen. Don't, don't go doing a cop and just spraying me down, please. Let me talk first. He's got a good pace in him. He's trying to get out. Thank goodness that people are alive. Trees! Hands up! Blue! Blue! Don't yeah. shoot! I'm with you guys! Identify yourself! It's the SWAT! Officer Mitchell Clyde! MCPD! Hey, Wait, go. Clyde? Y yeah! Yeah, Sarge, it's me! Holy shit! Okay, Stand down! Know each other. He's with us! But what about the other people in the mall? I thought we had lost you. Why the hell didn't you report in? Both Radio mine and Daryl's radios are busted, sir. Only so much I could do at the time. Managed to find a working phone, and that's how I called you guys in. Only. I see. Where's Daryl then? Wasted, sorry. Check, check the body back. Got shot up pretty bad, man. I think he's dead. Damn it! All right, where is he? Down by my vehicle, right next to the stolen truck on 99, not too far from here. Oh, pretty sure my lights are on, so it'll be hard to miss. Go down, secure the part of the highway, and get medical down there as fast as you can. Yes, sir. Alpha Squad, on me. Get out of here as well. You're this hurt. man's injured. I got my head bashed pretty hard, and I'm shot in my thigh. Oh, you're Other shot than in the leg. that, though. Bro, you gotta live. be careful with that, okay, though. There's a vein running down your leg that can make it bleed out. All right, good. We need all the help we can get before they escape. Honestly, leg shots are brutal. Like? Hard to tell. 
Both of them were in ski masks in all black. It seemed like Daryl got a good look at them with their masks off. Mm -hmm. Though it's not like he can give you a description of them now. One of them has a machine pistol, and I think the other guy's got a regular one. One of them's name is Chris, but I didn't Ooh, catch the other guy's it. name. Unless that When's the last names. time you saw him? Down this way. I think they're still here, but we gotta go now. All Oof. right. Bravo, Charlie, sweep this building. Let's yeah, smoke these guys in. out. He didn't the tell about the on me. robot, right? Let's you move. should. You should really break it with the robot. So even with the shot in his leg, he's still going. They wouldn't let him go back in the scene, man. They would make him stay back, unless maybe we're seeing different camera footage now. I don't know. I know that fox is long gone, man. That fox is... Yep. If it was there, it no longer is. You hear it? Or is that them? There he is! Hands up! All you do is got on. Let me see your hands! They Drop got the in? gun! Drop the gun and put your hands up! Drop oh, the gun you're dumb, but... What about if he is like... Yo, he... It's like he wants to be taken out rather than take him in. Take him in. We're pinned down! He has on the second floor! And they're just going in like that, man! And he shots loud enough! That was a shotgun. He's dead! Three neutralized. All units, suspect down. Repeat, suspect eliminated. Whoever took the shot, get hit. It was a clean kill. Remember, he's not alone. Finish clearing this place and fall in with us. That sounds like We're a shotgun here blast, bro. Any idea where his friend might be? I think that answers huh? your question. What? Why you didn't let me, me. Out here? Huh? Yo, he got locked in! Hey, moron! Yo, what a stupid idiot! Dude got just completely hey, doofus. Open the door! Police department, come out with your hands up! He can't. Get out the door stuck! I can't open it! Bro, what about if that door opens and it explodes or something? They just need it! Now. I thought they needed it! I thought they just needed Yeah, there we go, he's in. So the other guy was dead by the sounds of it, they took him out. What's your name? Identify yourself. Henry. Henry. Henry Emily. Oh, all right. Wow. Oh, and then it just cuts like that. There is nothing at the end. So if you guys don't know who Henry Emily is, he's actually the guy in FNAF, I think Simulator the game was called, who you hear the whole connection terminated. I believe he gave the instructions basically uh, to, you know, take out all the animatronics. So in this universe, he was captured. Maybe he wasn't working with him. Maybe he was forced to. Okay, that's interesting though in this universe. Within the game law, it is revealed that he's the old partner of William Afton who owned a Fred Bear's family diner and helped create the original animatronics. So Bear all that in mind. This is what I love about Spectre. It's like everything that happens within these tapes, it's paced in such a way that it feels real. There are those minutes of downtime where instead we're just kind of eyeballs looking across the screen trying to find anything, but progression is being made to another, you know, high intensity moment. It feels so good. One thing is clear now to me, it is clear Spectre is building a universe here rather than lots of mini instances that went down and not having them connected. They are all now being connected and it's almost like, you know, we had these dotted events happen now the strings all meet at the center point and the police are on the case. That makes me even more excited to see what Spectre comes out with next. That was some great backstory though right there. We got name drops. We see the animatronics doing what they're doing. Nothing but just amazing stuff. Kudos, Spectre. Amazing. Can't wait to see what the next one is. And whenever it comes out, bro, I am down to wait as long as it takes. These things, they are masterpieces every time. If you guys want to check this video out for yourself, maybe slow it down. Check for some secrets. You can check the link down below and also head over to Spectre's channel and see all of his other work. Let me know what you guys thought of this one too. This was the police archive showing the withered foxy incident, and I really hope you guys did enjoy. I love this. If you did, why not drop me that like crate? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Of course, I hope you did enjoy. And hypothetically, if any of you guys go ahead and encounter an animatronic in the wild, I'd favor the taser gun over the handgun.